Welcome back to another episode of From the Field Conservation Careers Edition. I'm your host, Mandy Marconi, and today we are with the Game Commission's North Central Regional Wildlife Diversity Biologist, Mario Geizon. Mario, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. To begin, can you tell us a little bit about what is a wildlife diversity biologist and how long have you been in this position? So I started in October 2007, so probably about 14 years now, and wildlife diversity is mostly non-game species. There are some game species, but we focus on species identified in our wildlife action plans. And it is our, the diversity biologist's job to try to you know, conserve habitat and, and help work towards uh, you know, fostering those species. That sounds like a pretty important job that you have. It's pretty ambitious, but we do the best we can. So tell us your story. How did you get interested in a biologist field or what was the path that you took to get where you are today? Sure. I, uh, I guess as a kid, I always had this innate fascination with everything natural. Um, I was one of those kids that was always asking why, you know, why is it that way? Why do the leaves turn from green to orange to, to red and, or yellow and uh, why are cardinals red? What's even more interesting is when we don't know the answer, you know, why this is a certain way. And uh, so we get to answer those, you know, we get to try to figure that out and that's, that's science, right? So that's uh, great for a kid that's uh, wheels are always turning and always thinking about, you know, what's over the next horizon. and um, asking those why questions. Um, so how did I get into the field? Um, you know, it really started with, honestly, it, was, it wasn't until college that I, I really pinned down what, I, what it was I wanted to do. Uh, you know, a couple key courses, you know, I took an animal behavior course, but it, it, it was at that point that I, you know, I realized, you know, this is pretty, pretty neat. You know, I could start answering those why questions myself. And, and uh, pursued a, a career in it and never, never looked back. That actually leads me into my next question. What is a typical work day for you? What does that look like? I don't know that there is a typical work day. It's, the, the day never ends the way it begins. It's, it's always something different. And, and then you've got days that uh, you're out in the field climbing up a mountain, you know, trying to get some cameras out to, to detect some wood rats or putting detectors out for northern flying squirrels or you know, checking some barn owl boxes and banding some barn owls or peregrine falcons or kestrels. You know, your day can take you all kinds of different directions. So, but that's, that's the cool thing. You know, when you do what you love, it's, you never work a day in your life. So are there certain times of the month or year that are busier than others then? When, I mean, you must have to work with uh, different species at different times of the year. Right, right. I would have to say the spring and the summer or, you know, the, the, the peak periods and that's that's when everything's happening you know all the the wildlife are out uh, the young are out on the landscape or, or you know in the nest and we're trying to get to them to you know monitor those nests and how many there are in the nest and and maybe do some banding and so that's the that's the the peak periods overall it's it's a pretty rewarding job you get to see you know the benefit of your efforts a lot of times so yeah, I think that's what would be really neat about your job is looking back and seeing what you have accomplished. Right, right. You know, those questions that you answered and then mm -hmm. working towards those other questions that haven't been answered yet. Right, yeah. So yeah. does does your position have any room for advancements? Sure, sure. I mean, not so much within uh, the biologist one level, but uh, there are biologist two uh, positions that we could transition into, those are mostly um, uh, species uh, biologists, so you know, focusing on grouse, woodcock, the bear biologist, you know, uh, turkey biologist, all of those are, are at the wildlife biologist two level. Uh, a lot of those positions are, are being based out of Harrisburg, so uh, they, they do require a move to the state capital. Um, but then there are regional, bi uh, uh, regional biologists, the wildlife management supervisors, which are the biologist three level, and uh, so there's some supervise, uh, supervisory role there where they're, that's my supervisor is, is a biologist three. And, and so that's, that's a promotional opportunity within that regional structure. And again, the six regions across the state. Uh, and then, you know, from there, they're mostly, uh, you know, they're Harrisburg, you know, more uh, program management, uh, section supervisors, uh, you know, bureau uh, supervisors and chiefs and, 
uh, section chiefs and, and what have you. So there's, you know, there's, there is some promotional opportunity and, and room to grow. To become a biologist, what type of education and experience is necessary or required in order right. to be a biologist or a diversity biologist? So the entry level position uh, to the state anyway for, for a wildlife biologist position is going to be a bio aid and, and those are usually a, a limited term position, 749 hours. We do have bio aids that are year round, uh, but they're usually limited term uh, employment. Uh, with those, even even those entry level, you're looking at at least a bachelor's degree. Um, and same thing with the, the wildlife technicians. That would be the next step up. Um, and the wildlife technicians typically are requiring a, a bachelor's in you know biology or wildlife management or environmental science. Uh, you know a variety of things that obviously get you exposure to you know birds and mammals and management of birds and mammals uh, or disease. Uh, diseases of those those species so or, or those those groups but um so i would i would count and then from there you know biologist one you're looking at a bachelor's and, and more than likely it, it's going to require a master's unless you have several years of experience uh directly applicable to the to the job you would be applying for but again you know i would start at that bachelor's level and and you would need to focus on you know, those wildlife management courses and all the ologies, you know, so herpetology, mammalogy, mm -hmm. ichthyology even. So that kind of goes along with the next question. Are, are there any interests, abilities, skills that would help someone succeed in becoming uh, a biologist? Being able to follow directions and navigate on a map. Uh, you know, we work independently. You know, we, a lot of times we're given an assignment or we, we develop our own assignments and hey, I got to get up to the top of this mountain or I got to find this wetland and you got to be able to navigate, you know, know how to use a GPS uh, unit, know how to, you know, do, do some basic mapping and I think is, is really important and, and having that confidence to, to work uh, independently and of course that confidence really uh, is gained through doing. How do you develop those skills and where do you, where do you go and I think that's why it's really important to, to volunteer, you know, at, at least it, at the start early in your career and and in pursuing that degree and you know, just volunteer at a state park or you know with the game commission you know just call them up and say hey can I stop by and job shadow or, or do something and uh, and and you know even local conservation districts or um, you know your watershed groups seek those opportunities take advantage of that and sometimes just asking questions you know just being present and asking questions and you know, hey, what do you think about this? Or, you know, what should I do? You know, should I take this course or this course? You know, whatever it is, just, just uh, ask questions. Yeah, I like that. Just like how you started out, asking yeah. questions. Asking questions, <laughs> yep. So after uh, someone goes in, um, they've completed their education, they got some experience, and now they're, they're looking for uh, a career or a, a job. Where would someone start out in this field? So generally, uh, it's going to depend on the education level, like I said, bachelor's or master's, but starting out at a wildlife technician level, uh, and you can earn your way up through to, you know, bio one, a bio two, you know, bio three, and then promotional opportunities from there, section supervisors and, you know, more, more management related uh, positions, but yeah. Nice. So Mario, you've already given us a lot of great information, but do you have any final advice for our viewers who would like to pursue a career in the biologist field? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think we touched on some of that, you know, with, with volunteer opportunities and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a broad field and it's highly competitive. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do and, and I would explore those, you know, every opportunity that, that you get. Uh, whether it's a volunteer opportunity or you know job in the summertime, uh, and job shadowing, um, whatever you can, and, and just just reading, you know, trying to find out where that passion is and, and what it is that you're really interested in, and that that's hard, you know. Sometimes, you know, that that comes easy for some people that they just fall into it and they they figure it out right away. Uh, you know, myself, I I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do right away. It wasn't really wasn't until college that you know I, I found that fit for me. You know, where where I 
that passion was and where I what I wanted to do and um, but you know the, figuring that out is is key critical and important you know figuring out what it what you're good at too you know and, and where you can contribute I mean everybody has their role and in, in what they can do and what they're capable of and what their interests are and then you know everybody brings something to the to the table and, and find out what it is that you're good at and what your interests are and, and then just pursue those in any way you can and and then you know pursue those degrees and what you need to do to to get those positions to to launch yourself into that career well that was pretty solid advice mario i want to thank you for your time to talk to us about your career as a wildlife diversity biologist it was pretty interesting. I learned a lot. I'm sure our viewers learned a lot. Uh, so thank you for your time today. Well, thanks for having me. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of From the Field, Conservation Careers Edition. Until next time.